Welcome to Under the Hood Podcast. In this podcast, we pop the hood and give you an inside look at the hows and whys of our ministry here at Cornerstone Church. I'm Michael Nave, your host. I am so glad to have you join me for this episode, and with me in studio is Nathan Rawls. Nathan, it's great to have you here for this one. Well, good to be here. I'm I'm almost a little intimidated. I have come to realize that like you are the voice of Cornerstone <laughs> Podcast around here, like all the time, Warehouse, mm. and when you preach a sermon, you're on I their guess. sermons podcast, and now Under the Hood for the now, second time. Yeah. Yeah, getting the the hat trick there. My daddy always said I had a face made for radio. Huh. So. Did he really say that? No, he, he did didn't. Not. Come on. He didn't. Throwing your dad <laughs> under the bus for that one. Uh, it, it is great to have you back, and I really do appreciate you. And as we're going to talk about leadership development, calling into ministry, mm-hmm. stepping into what God has for you. Nathan, I got to tell you, like you are one of the really inspiring stories of a young man who had incredible potential mm-hmm. when you came to Cornerstone as almost a kid. Right. Uh, and you've leaned into that, stepped into that, and to see you flourishing quite impressively mm-hmm. is such a blessing and an inspiration to me and so many of our people. Uh, dude, I'm proud of you. This is Thank really you. fun to have this conversation with you. Yeah, I, man, I, I think that's why I love uh, development so much. I want to see other people experience that. It's been such a rich blessing to me. Like I would not be doing what I'm doing if it were not for the focus on development here at Cornerstone and your investment in it. So I love it. All right, so let's let's have this conversation because here's the deal. Uh, Jesus tells us to pray that he would mm-hmm. send workers for the harvest because it's out there. Mm-hmm. Like there are people that are ready to hear the gospel. And yet there would be many of us who would say, like, I don't even know how to get in. Mm-hmm. Would God call me into mm-hmm. ministry? Like, what what would that even look like? And so we want to have that conversation mm-hmm. today. Uh, we've seen some development in yep. the last couple of years. We've, we've kind of gotten focused, yeah. something that was always there, and yet we're, we're seeing a, a real focus on that. Like, what what have you seen shift? How would you describe this focus of, of developing leaders? Yeah. So I think it's always been a part of our, our DNA. I Like, I remember you and me walking around the parking lot talking about <laughs> 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by John yep. Maxwell, and then me getting to pair up with um, Worship Catalyst, and they helped me learn how to be a, a better coach. And we've seen, and I think we'll talk about this here in just a second, like a number of people come through internships, residencies, like part-time staff, full-time staff, Mm-hmm. and be sent out. So I think it's always been a part of our culture and it's one of the, one of my very favorite things about Cornerstone. Um but I think the focus uh has been coming in where we we're like hey, we don't just want it to be that we kind of generally have a focus on developing leaders, mm-hmm. but that we have specific pathways for leaders that that people know what it what it looks like to take their next step, whether that's, you know, through our leadership pipeline or institute or um through ministry experience. I think we've just tried to be laser focused to make it very clear how to take next steps. Yeah. So let let me uh, illustrate what you said. Uh, this this is not a new thing for us. This is a focusing mm-hmm. thing for us. I, I, I jotted down some really special names to us of people who have come through, mm-hmm. have done an internship, have been on staff, have had a different mm-hmm. role, and are now out there. Uh, he, here's the list I have. Robbie Smith, Jared Sparks, Zach Furlong, Eric Rue, Matt Crane, Andre Mourinho, Brad Henson. Uh, and if you include student internships or student involvement, we'd also have Nick Volkanin, mm-hmm. Trevor Isle, my son, Zachary, mm-hmm. um, and then Nick Sestola, yep. who, you know, and and then this summer, Haley Millette, Maddie Hill, Hunter Mays, all serving at Center Kid or Center Fuge. And it's like, mm-hmm. oh my goodness. Oh, wow. The first list was 10 guys out there preaching in yeah. our region mm-hmm. who who came through, yeah. who were part of our team, did a residency internship yeah. back in the day. Dustin and, did an inter- internship. Yeah. yeah. And, and right right here he is. And we've got yeah. Parker on our team. And so so many uh, have have worked through our process and, and mm-hmm. been on our team. are like, 
Yes, thank you, God. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to just manifest something we've never done. Mm -hmm. We're trying to add a little bit of focus to what we have been doing to see even even greater fruit for the Big C Church, Mm -hmm. which is absolutely thrilling. Yeah. And then recently, my involvement with North American Mission Board and serving our churches here in Illinois, uh, something that has become really clear to me is that by the grace of God, there's money available. Mm-hmm. Uh, Christians have given toward uh, United States ministries for mm-hmm. church planting. The The money is there. The opportunity is there. The reality is we're short on leaders. We don't have the future staff persons and the future church planters and the future pastors out there. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the money and opportunity is there. We don't have people ready to step into those roles. And so what is becoming clear is that that gets to be our focus. Mm -hmm. Like God has positioned us as a church to place a real focus on developing those leaders for those opportunities that are out there. Yeah. And I think even as you as you talk about that, I just think about like, there's funding out there. We've got a commission to train up people. I also think about the fact that like God is not like calling his church to do something that he's not equipping them to do. Mm-hmm. So I think about like God is calling specific men and women uh, in our church and in our region to ministry. And so like we just want to partner with where yes. the Holy Spirit's work and, and help people identify that call and develop that into like the vocational ministry and yes. whatever they're called to do. Yes. Okay. So what what I, what I want you to do for us today, Nathan, is help us connect the dots. Mm-hmm. And, and for you and me, this is something we've kind of been uh, mm-hmm. hit, beating our head sure. on what has felt like a concrete wall for a while. Of like, okay, Lord, h- how how do we do this? Mm-hmm. Uh, we want to make disciples and we want to raise up leaders. How do we actually mm-hmm. do this? And three pieces mm-hmm. have connected recently yeah. relatively recent it's like oh that's that's what we've been trying to do so I, I want you to help us put together these three pieces institute leadership pipeline internship and tell mm-hmm. us how all that fits together yeah so, so wh- I think it can be a little confusing for people whenever they're trying to figure out like okay I, w- I want to do something I want to grow into right. a leadership role here what do I do um, and so you just mentioned the the three bigs that and I think people have like sometimes wondered like okay so which one do I which one do I go toward yes um, so let me just give you like flyby of all three. Okay. So Institute is all about theological education. We, we're convinced that like theological education happens best at the local church or that, mm-hmm. that the local church should be doing a lot more of it yes. than, we, than we have in the past. So whenever you hear us talk about classes like how to study the Bible or intro to biblical counseling or church leadership or how to teach the Bible or platform communication, those all fit within um, Institute. And they're very, it's a very academic environment for, and it's for people who are like wanting that theological education. So that's one one leg of the this tripod, I guess. Good. Yes. Um, second would be our, our leadership pipeline. That's specifically where we develop leaders in their character and competency for higher degrees of influence. And um, so that happens in uh, ministry departments. That's a very decentralized leadership development process where we want our uh, team leaders apprenticing and training up new team leaders. We want our coaches apprenticing and training up new coaches. Yes. And so on any of your ministry teams or small groups, if you ask, hey, what's our leadership pipeline? They should be able to tell you, oh, here's what it looks like to apprentice and be developed in these competencies. And the neat thing about that environment is it's not primarily academic. It's not primarily education oriented. It's very competency and character focused. Mm -hmm. So people who have gone through our leadership pipeline, they say, hey, I'm a better like a uh, pharmacy tech, or I'm a better uh, accountant and stuff. I'm I'm better at my my secular job because I've gone through this, and right. I now have more influence um, in the church to help other people follow Jesus. So, institute is theological education. Leadership pipeline is character and competency, and then ministry experience. Where do you actually see what ministry looks like? That's an internship for us. And so if you're, um, that's like Dustin as an intern came on and he spent all of his time with me. I was the worship pastor at the time, and I'm showing him how do you like. Everything from how do you plan a worship set to how do you have like difficult conversations with team members to how do you actually lead from the platform? And then some of like, you know, where do you plug the cables in? Uh, So it's like very practical and uh, philosophical. And so that's the ministry experience side of it. And so that's kind of the three legs. Okay. And the part, go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead and finish. You can finish the part. And then I have questions of like, okay, practically. So how do do I get in? So go ahead. Yeah. So then the part that's really come together for us is um, whenever you put all three of those things together in an intentional, an intentional program, we call that residency. Okay. 
Um, and that's for people who are um, either like feeling called into vocational ministry or at least exploring that call. Like, hey, I think God might be inviting me to give my life, my career to ministry. And residency is a two-year program here at Cornerstone. It's it's where you put all three of those pieces together. There's going to be a, um, a laid out path for you to take with our Institute for Theological Education. There's going to be like intentional development in your leadership competencies through our pipeline. And there's going to be lots of boots on the ground ministry experience. And so you put all three of those together, you get a residency. Wonderful. Wonderful. Really helpful, short descriptions, definitions of each of those. And then that that was the thrilling piece for me was when you and your team put those three legs of that stool together, mm-hmm. realizing, oh, those are the three pieces mm-hmm. that then make up, uh, constitute a, a residency, which yeah. is thrilling, thrilling. Okay, so let's back up. Let's back up. Um, let's say that I want to get in on this institute thing. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know, vocational ministry. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't know. But what I want to do is know more. Like, mm-hmm. I want to have theological education. So mm-hmm. m- maybe give us a, a, some examples of some institute classes. Mm-hmm. And then, like, how do I get in? For somebody who says, hey, I want to know more theological education, how do I get involved in institute? Mm-hmm. Yep. So institute, we have we always have, um, like, what I would call 100-level classes that mm-hmm. are running every semester. How to Study the Bible, we run pretty much every semester. Like, we, we occasionally—I think we're taking the summer off, but— it's going to be running every spring and fall, and that's a great place to get your feet wet. And from there, you kind of see the um, the branches out into other places that you can study. Um, you can find those on if you go to our website and you're looking. It, it, it's advertised basically like a small group. Okay. Um, so you can find them there. If you're having a hard time, find Stephanie McCroy because she is helping run this ship. Yes. Um, so and you can email her at s mcroy at cornerstone team. Um, so, and she's always out in the lobby, find her, find me. Um, and we'd love to help you get connected to that. And you have grouped those in, uh, you almost have institute tracks. Like, Hey, if I want to be an elder or if I Mm -hmm. am heading down that direction, these are the things I would want to learn, which would be actually a beautiful way to to test mm-hmm. or to discern, is God calling me toward that? Do I enjoy those classes? Mm-hmm. Um, any, any insights of into that that you can give us? Yeah. So, I mean, we specifically set out to say like, okay, if we want to raise up future teachers, counselors, pastors, and elders, mm-hmm. those were like the, the four main tracks that we were going for p- things that need uh, theological education. Yeah. And so we have courses that like complete kind of a certificate program for each of those. Um, some of those classes are built out. Some of them are not yet. I, I anticipate like this residency program that's like really coming to fruition, yeah. really helping with that because our residents are going to need all of those classes. And so then it will be available for anyone to kind of audit, uh, to step in and say like, okay, we're, we're offering how to study the Bible right now for our residency program. You can step in and audit the class, still get credit for it. You may not even be a resident, but you can still come in t- for that period of the of the class. And we offer some of them on Sunday mornings. Um, we're getting ready to start offering some on Tuesday nights in the fall. So that's ah. yeah, that's the opportunities available. So great, and I appreciate your passion for. Um, that aspect of theological education. You are a theological student right yeah. now. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm working uh, on my master's and loving it. Love that about you bringing that to our church. Okay, so leadership pipeline, you talked about character and competencies, and you mentioned coaches, mm-hmm. coaching, and mm-hmm. leaders leading. If somebody says, hey, I don't know about vocational ministry, but I want to be a better leader, mm-hmm. I want to be able to lead others and shocks, maybe even an organization, how how do I sign up? How do yep. I get involved in the yep. leadership pipeline? Yep. So we would say the first thing with uh, with leadership is that you're leading yourself, and we would say that one of the like most important things you can do is uh, is getting into a ministry team or a small group, that place where you're going to find connection, and that's where we do all of this um, leadership pipeline okay. stuff. Yes. So if you're if you're sitting on the bench, if you're sitting on a chair in the weekend saying that you want to be a leader, then like the first step is go join a small group, get on a ministry team, and then you can ask your appointed leader like. Hey, I've heard that we have a leadership pipeline here. What what do I do? Um, and honestly, like if you're serving well, if you're showing up faithfully, if you are um, showing that you're engaged, then they're probably going to approach you because that's the way our leaders are trained. Yes, beautiful, really, really, really helpful. 
Um, okay, how about the internship mm-hmm. aspect? Hey, I want to learn hands-on stuff. Like I'd I'd like to I'd like to know how you mm-hmm. do that in that role in the church. I don't know if I have time for institute or leadership pipeline. Is there a way somebody can say, hey, I mm-hmm. I, I would like to shadow and get some hands-on ministry experience? Uh, yes. And this is probably the messiest part of it all right okay. now, because we don't have a standardized way that we do this yet. And I'm curious whether it's going to end up standardized in the long run or whether it's going to be intentionally very flexible, because yeah. we have summer internships through 252 that um, mm-hmm. uh, that it ha- is for like high school students that are exploring ministry. Yep. Um, and that happens dur- during the summer. You can talk to Morgan if that's where you're at, or you have a high school student, or you know a high school student that would like that. Um, I know that uh, Dustin's had a conversation with somebody about an internship. And so I think pretty much any of our ministry department leaders, uh, our directors yeah. would, would entertain a conversation about internship and, and would talk with you about your schedule and what that could look like. Anything from a few hours a week to, you know, full-time paid, unpaid. There's a lot of flexibility there. Um, and so that would just be start a conversation with the director. And what a beautiful, messy way that it begins with the tour Mm -hmm. we give in first steps and Mm -hmm. you get a a taste of the things that are happening. And as you volunteer with a ministry team, you might find yourself really engaged by a certain aspect of, of our ministry. Yes. And then put all of those together, all of those together, institute, leadership, pipeline, internship, that hands on aspect. That is our two year Mm -hmm. residency. If somebody says, huh, um, do you have to be a member of Cornerstone to get in on a residency? Uh, what if what if my daughter or my friend's son, like, are those available potentially for someone to apply outside of being a regular here? Yeah, absolutely. We we want to see, like, we're not, I, I love how much we are for the Big C yes. Church at Cornerstone. And so we want to see um, leaders trained up and sent out from from all over the place. Um, and so, yeah, absolutely. Whether you're at, currently attending Cornerstone, whether you are willing to transfer into John A. Logan, whether you are, uh, I mean, wh- whatever right. the case is, if you're going to another church uh, around here and you want to be a part of this, we would love to have you as part of this residency. That's incredible. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if someone's interested, mm-hmm. what, what would you invite them to do? What's the first step to even take a look? We have a, we have a really simple um, interest form that is not like a it's not a long application process or okay. whatever. It's just for you to say like, you know what, I'd like to have a conversation about it. I don't know. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure if it's ministry. And one of the other neat things is like I think people think ministry and they think lead pastor, mm. but we've got residencies for like teachers within our institute or or teachers in any environment out there. Um, We've got internships for like production and worship and kids and students and experience. And so there's all kinds of opportunities to explore ministry. We're talking about like vocational ministry across the board, not just, I want to go plant a church somewhere. Um, Although we definitely would take you if you, (laughs) if you're thinking about planting a church somewhere. Um, So uh, the interest form is where you want to start. And that just, all that does is it lets us know that you're interested. It uh, gives us a little bit of background information and it prompts a conversation where we can sit down and talk about just where you've been and what God might be calling you to. And even if you're just trying to figure out like, uh, man, am I called? I don't know. I'm thinking about it, but maybe and can't decide. We love those conversations. So that interest form, you can email residency at cornerstone.team uh, and we will get that back to you. You can also email either me or Parker. So I'm in Rawls at cornerstone.team, Parker's pnave at cornerstone.team. We would love to help you out. Mm, so good. Uh, Nathan, I really appreciate your passion, your expertise. I appreciate you leading by example. Mm. We're not just doing institute, but mm-hmm. you are pursuing yeah. deeper theological education and then bringing that to our team. Uh, thank you for leading by example. Thank you for leading us with passion. I'm so thrilled and excited to see how God has begun to connect mm-hmm. the dots Me too. and given us a clear path forward of how we can be a part of seeing new workers for the harvest raised up. We're thrilled to do our part. We love the Big C Church. Nathan, it's an honor to do ministry with you. Man, it's my joy. Thanks. 